Here in this video we will showcase a comparison between the same dinosaurs from two shows. One which is a famous movie franchise and the other is a documentary series voiced by David Attenborough. So here is a showdown between 9 prehistoric planet and Jurassic World dinos. Firstly, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The king of dinosaurs is featured on both these shows and while it retains the same look in the Jurassic World movies, the same design right from 1993 Jurassic Park, the one in Prehistoric Planet, the documentary has made a lot of changes. The Prehistoric Planet T-Rex is seen as being chubby and with a light feathery coat on its back. It is also a couple of feet shorter than JP's Rexy and with a mouth that has visible set of lips hiding the terrifying teeth of the apex predator. Aside from these facts, not much is different between these two dinosaurs. The documentary T-Rex is just thicker in comparison. Second, the Mosasaurus. While the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World is a kaiju scale beast with a length of literally over 100 feet 30 meters, with protruding teeth and a sleek yet bony and muscular design, the prehistoric planet's Mosasaurus in comparison is shorter about 10 feet longer than the T-Rex, putting it at 55 feet or almost 17 meters, which is quite accurate according to fossil discoveries. It also appears to be plumpy and fat resembling a body of a whale instead of a killer design of the Jurassic World version. It also has visible lips and shorter teeth. Number 3 The Velociraptor Blue and the other Velociraptors from the movies resemble more like sleek and featherless Deinonychus, a naked scaly reptile which is 5.5 feet tall and 15 feet long with human-like intelligence and as fast as a leopard. The documentary's version, however, is more accurate. It shows a turkey-sized predator, 6.6 .6 feet or 2 meters long and 2.5 feet tall, which is covered in a thick plumage of feathers and a bird-like appearance, as was the case of the extinct raptors of the late Cretaceous. Its tail is also straight and also with a lot of feathers. Number 4. The Atrociraptors While the Atrociraptors of Jurassic World Dominion highly resemble the Velociraptors of the same movie franchise, Except for the color pattern and the thicker snout, the documentary's version is more accurate in representation. Those Atrociraptors are about the same size as a big turkey with a long tail, the same as the Velociraptors of the show. They have a thick brown plumage of feathers and also a thicker snout, with a darker coloring over the mouth making it resemble sort of like a beak. Number 5. The Dreadnoughtus This Titanosaur resembles a Brachiosaurus from the same movie franchise, the Jurassic Park franchise. It is 30 feet tall, 86 feet long and 65 tons in weight and has a very long thick muscular neck and a set of four legs that resemble tree branches if you look at it from away. Other documentaries showed a different look altogether. This gigantic beast is around the same height, length and weight but very different in two aspects. The legs seem to be thinner in comparison and the neck is thicker with a column of inflatable sacs that are used for mating calls. Number 6. The Carnotaurus uh, The predator, also called the meat-eating bull, is one of the deadliest animals to ever walk the earth. The movies and the documentary versions are very similar to each other, each being around 30 feet or 9 meters long, with a similar body proportion and outside appearance as well. But there are two aspects which they differ very greatly. The spikes on the back of the documentary's Carno is visibly shorter, appearing as minor osteoderms, while the movie's version has sharper and longer spikes. The documentary's version also has tiny arms which are blue in color, which it uses to shake around and attract mates. 7. The Therizinosaurus This animal from Jurassic World Dominion is an impressive dinosaur that captured the hearts of the fans of the franchise. This dinosaur was 40 feet long, 18 feet tall and has a set of 1 meter long claws. It was moderately feathered and was primarily grayish brown in color. The prehistoric planet's Therizinosaurus was different. It was the same size no doubt but had a very thick coat of brown feathers and long feathers partially hiding its claws, kind of like a wing. The claws were curvier and facing parallel to the body frame as opposed to the Dominion's Therizinosaurus claws which were like a set of forks or the Wolverine's claws. Number 8. The Quetzalcoatlus At first glance, they look almost the same but the body structure of the Quetzalcoatlus from the two shows are very different. The beak is more pronounced in the movie version while the documentary's flying bees has kind of like a pelican throat behind the beak. Its neck is also longer than the movie's version but the Dominion Quetzalcoatlus, the torso 
and the chest is bigger than the documentary's one. The wing skeletal design also differs a lot in proportions, and the structure of the movie's one has longer metacarpals. The Dominion Quetzalcoatlus has a wingspan that is half that aeroplane, meaning it was easily over 60 feet long or 18 meters wide, as opposed to the 30 feet or 10 meter wingspan of the documentary's version, which is quite accurate. And lastly, the Triceratops. The only differences between the movie and the show's versions of these Triceratops lies in the head region. The frontal nose horn is visibly shorter and blunt on the one from the documentary, and sharper on the movie's versions. The movie's versions lack a set of rows of osteoderms that line the head crest as was seen in the documentary's Triceratops, and those were the only differences they had between them. So that's a quick comparison of the dinosaurs of prehistoric planet and Jurassic Park slash world. Anyway, subscribe to this new channel, hit that like button and smash that bell icon for regular updates on more videos just like this. Take care guys.